hi everyone welcome back to my channel in today's tutorial we'll be learning how to cut and sew this beautiful kimono top okay it has the balloon sleeve which is cut together with the bodies all right so it's a very simple top which we can you can make it within a short while okay so the first thing you want to do on your pattern paper is to trace out your basic bodies leaving out the darts this top is a free top so it does not require any darts whatsoever okay so mark out your basic bodies this is the length of the bodies this is a full scale okay the length this is the length and this end represent the center fold okay so I'll, like i said we'll be using just this single pattern for both front and back bodies okay so we are using this single pattern so this is the center okay that means why we are placing this pattern on fabric the fabric will be on fold on this end all right so this is the length of the top and this from the top here to this point is my chest line which is the armhole length okay from the top to this point is my bust line okay this is the waistline and this is the hip line so on each point take the bust the bust circumference divided by four on the chest line also here on the bust line and here on the waist the waist circumference divided by four here the hip circumference divided by four but make sure you add an ease on the hip circumference so you can so it can be a bit free it won't be very tight okay so on the hip line add just one inch of ease on the hip line okay so that because this top is not going to have zipper so it's it will be easier for you to wear while you're wearing it and then it will be free it should be free on the hip area the upper hip you know the the blouse length is always at the upper hip okay so that is that about all the vertical measurements and also the horizontal measurements all right the neckline that I used is three by four. So the width is three inch and the depth is four inch. The essence of using this is for you to be able to wear it over the head. You know, there won't be zipper, so it will be a bit free. So I didn't use three by three, I used three by four. So this depends on you, your preference, whatever you choose, but make sure it's not tight because there is no zipper all right so after taking out the basic bodies the full scale all that i've marked out all this there is just a preamble it, the major top will just be extracted from this pattern okay like i said we don't need that it's going to be a free top okay so from my shoulder this is the shoulder okay this is the shoulder measurement okay from the center here to this point is the shoulder and i took the shoulder slope and the armhole curve here okay so from the shoulder point take your desired sleeve length so from this point on the shoulder this is the shoulder measurement so mark the your desired sleeve length okay the the sleeve length now will be your actual sleeve length the one i use is a long sleeve so the long sleeve length so from the shoulder to my wrist that is the measurement i use but now you're going to deduct the band width from that measurement so the band width i used is three inch and the length of my sleeve is 23 inch so i measured 20 inch for the sleeve length that is 23 minus 3 for the band so 20 inch so from the shoulder point down to this point is the sleeve length minus the band width so if your sleeve length is 20 
and you want to use a band of band width of 2 inch so that is 20 minus 2 so the length of the sleeve you'll be measuring from this shoulder point will be 18 inch okay do you understand so from this point down here is the sleeve length minus the band width okay so at the end of the sleeve length here at the end here come down by three inch okay from the top mark three inch and connect to the shoulder slope at this point blend it to the shoulder slope let's blend it to this point can you see like so can you see that so after blending it to the shoulder slope then this is going to be straight like this we are not doing anything to this end we'll come to the basic bodies here from the waistline from the waistline come down by three inch come down by three inch from the waistline you mark three inch downwards like this from the waistline okay and then from the hemline okay before i come to the hemline so this point you are connecting it to the end of your pattern here okay remember this is the length the end of the length of the top on this side so you connect the end here to this three inch that we have marked here like so in a slanted form so you're just going to connect like this can you see okay so after connecting this then you come to the hem and move up by two inch from the hem line okay move up by two inch can you see that and then make a curve to the hem line the essence of this is just to remove this sharp edge at the end here so i'm just going to pick my curve ruler and connect that point to the hem so the two inch connect it to the hem like so can you see that we are cutting this off okay so that is all about the top it's, you can see it's so simple so we'll cut off this uh, curved end okay let me place it this way so you can see view it better from this angle okay cut out the curve and then this slanted line at the hem And then come to the shoulder and cut off the sh shoulder slope. Can you see that? And then cut the neckline. And we are done with the top so we'll quickly move to the sewing of this so this is what we have for our top 
so we are cutting this for both front and back bodies all right this is how it looks can you see okay so to cut on fabric place your fabric on fold for both front and back bodies so here you'll be having two folds so this is the center fold for both front and back so you'll be having two folds for both front and back you're cutting the two together at once so this is the folded end okay and then place your pattern on it like so and cut it out hold it with pins and cut it out make sure the center of the pattern paper of your pattern rather is on the folded end is lying on the folded end here and then cut out the neckline the shoulder slope and every other part okay so while cutting out this on your fabric make sure you add seam allowance of 0 0.5 inch all around the pattern okay 0 0.5 inch here 0 0.5 inch here okay on the side 0 0.5 inch on the shoulder you are doing that adding it on while you're cutting it on your fabric then 0 0.5 inch at the hem here okay Okay, so now to sew, place front on back bodies. The front body is on the back bodies. This is the neckline. The first thing you'll be doing is to join the shoulder. So this is the shoulder. Okay, you join the shoulder of both front and back bodies. So after joining the shoulder, come to this end. Okay, let me show you that on the pattern. Okay, so... Here is the shoulder. This is the neckline. So after placing, you open it up. Remember, this is on fold. So you open it up like so and place front on back bodies. Okay. Then you join the shoulder. Join the shoulder of both front and back. After joining the shoulder, then this end of the bodies, this end. You are going to gather you get the band the band width that you have chosen like i said i use three inch for my band width so whatever band width you use cut your band and fix a uh, interfacing you can use este you can use paper stay for the band then you gather this end you gather this end to your band size on the band you are adding 0 0.5 inch seam allowance as well to your band so if let me sh quickly show you that okay so let's take for instance this is the band you want to use it's on fold here is the folded end okay and you need the band width of a uh, three inch so here this is this will be 3 inch plus 0 0.5 so we have having 3.5 inch for the width because you'll be using 0 0.5 to join the band to the bodies so the width you'll be measuring will be 3.5 okay and then the length will be your wrist circumference okay so if your wrist circumference is 8 inch you are going to add 1 inch to it for the length if your wrist circumference is 9 inch, that means the length of this band will be 10 inch. I hope we get that. So now you pick, after joining the shoulder of both front and back bodies, you know by the time you join it, it will be wider. You have a wider range. So here on the fabric, join the shoulder, you'll be having a wider hand on this end. So you gather both front and back okay you gather both front and back gather it to the band that you have this is the band so i'm going to gather this and 
let it fit into the length of this band. So we reduce this end. We reduce this end with gathers to the band length. Okay. So if we reduce it to the band length. After gathering this end of both front and back bodies, okay. So go ahead and now join this end. You join this end of both front and back. After joining the shoulder, gather, fix the band, and then join this end down to the end there. So you okay, so this is what I was trying to explain. So after joining the two shoulders of both front and back bodies, you come and then gather this end, okay, of both front and back bodies. You gather it to your band length. So this is my band now. So after gathering to the band, you now close the band up. You close the band up down to this end and then to the hem. So you are sewing the band together like this. And then you come, you join this, this end of the top and come to the hem. That is all about the sewing. What I did was to knit the hem with buyers so i use buyers to knit the hem okay all right and also buyers to knit the neckline okay and then i hem i hem after sewing the bias to the neckline i hem it in so i hope you can see that so that is that's about this simple top you can see it's very simple and it's not time consuming to make so that will be all for today's tutorial thank you for being part of this tutorial i want to say a big thank you to all my subscribers on this channel and if you are watching this video and you are yet to subscribe kindly hit on the subscribe button and click on the notification bell in order to get notification of our newly uploaded videos okay see you in our next tutorial bye for now